All right, we're starting the game. All right, guys, welcome back into game six. Yes, good counting. Thank you. Good counting. Um, Masa. Mm. He was, in my opinion, the underdog after the first two games. I really thought that Ostagi, especially with him trampling uh, the semifinals, that this was, this was, like I said, if I was a betting man. Well, even the first two games he trampled. Yeah. And now he's come back three games in a row, has total momentum, and we're on a two-player map. Is he going to go ahead and do the Reaper cheese? I would hazard a guess and say no. No? Okay. I would say no, too, because he hasn't left his base yet. Yes. Yeah. Also, just this map is a little large. It's actually a small map. Really? This is considered small? Yeah. It's pretty small. Even in cross position? I think so. I think it's actually on the menu. I think it actually says small. Really? Yeah. I made the same mistake once, too, though. This, I mean, it looks... I know it looks big, but it's a two player. Lies, lies and slander. I know, I know. Lies I know. and slander. I still don't think he's going to do it. He's not going to do it. Because he doesn't left his base yet, obviously. Uh, or, but, it, yeah, I, I wouldn't even imagine him to do it anyway because I think now that he's had that ga last game and dominated in, the, in a macro, mm -hmm. I think he's just as comfortable to not risk a cheese mm. and to just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ostagy. Yeah, no, I agree. Mr. Max was black. Yes, sir. Hit me up with the sound of possibly winning this tournament this game. Oh, man, I just won $1,000 gift card. Bows. Look at this. Two-player map. We haven't seen Ostagy do this yet. We haven't seen him immediately scout no. with a drone. He is worried sick of a Reaper. Well, he has to be. Yeah. Because he hasn't been able to even come close to stopping it. Yeah. So, you know, that's a smart decision by him. He's going to go immediately back up. He's seeing that it's a command center going down. Uh, he's going to try and stay in here maybe a little longer to force to see if this is not just some kind of ruse. Mm -hmm. uh, do you really catch him off his game? Uh, now the drone's not going anywhere. So uh, have fun scouting. Yep. Because you're not going back home. You ain't leaving. You're doing your, do you're doing your service and you're, uh, you're not going back to your wife and children. Um, but, uh, yeah, until... Uh, well, he's, wow, he's even trying to mine... Mine there to get every last little bit of harassment out of him. Yeah, well, what that does is just it, it, it upsets an SUV because he can't mine at the same time, exactly. which is nice. He's just poking around, and look at this. That drone's actually putting a little bit of work. Why not? Keeping SCVs off the mineral mine. Why he's eventually going to go to it. Maybe he's going to make an extractor here and just be an extra bit of a douche. That well? Nope. Yeah. Look at that. That SCV going, no, you ain't no, taking this. No, immediately. You know, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. What is our... What is he doing back home what, right Zerg now? What, doing got, what he normally does. He's doing what he normally does, yeah. Grabbing the hatchery, mm -hmm. gonna go ahead and get the pool. Yep. And gonna go ahead and get that extractor. Yep. And that's pretty much the same thing that we've been seeing. Oh, I think he's just got the two drones there on gas, oh. so he's going for his speed. He's gonna... Uh, Masa! Uh, no. Okay, there we go. Not denied. Right. Drill to the face. Really effective. By the way, a giant drill right to the face. <laughs> Underrated, but very effective it's tool. A, it's a terrible way to die. Uh, I, would I would much rather get zapped by a probe than get drilled by an SCV. Yes. Because depending on where that drill is facing, it can be a bad time. Oh. A really bad time. Well, I actually, I'm going I'm to say that, that while I totally understand what you're saying. Oh, yeah. No matter where you get hit by a giant drill, yeah. it's going to be a bad time. It's going to be horrible. You hit the fingernail, you're going to have a bad time. They yeah. put that in your hair. <laughs> well, you you're a gonna really have a bad, bad time. time. Yeah. Uh, speaking of drills and hairs, uh, yes. Beyonce, did you see that uh, video on YouTube? I know it's so, I know it's so it's random. A great segue. She was doing a concert in uh, Montreal, and I think she was on her last song singing Halo, that beautiful Halo. Yeah, yeah. Halo. yeah. Um, she, there was a fan, and her hair got stuck in the fan. Oh, but, no. but Beyonce is such a boss. I call her Bausance. That's I, a tongue twister. Yeah, it is. Uh, she just kept singing. And then some dude came over and just cut the hair and she just played it off like nothing you know was why? happening. Because she is probably, she's probably got one of the greatest live shows for a pop, a pop artist on, on the planet. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, speaking of live shows, this is live. This is a live show. And um, we are doing it live here as Ostoji comes up and trying to uh, apply some aggression. Uh, now, he tried this before. It, it worked. It, it, it worked it because worked. It Masa because screwed up. Masa decided to go home early. Yes. And that's never a good thing. You have to put in your hours, otherwise you're never going to make it in the world. I don't think he's going to make the same mistake twice. He just doesn't have as much as he had before. No. That's the thing. 
No. Uh, so he, I think he's just poking around here to see what we could maybe pick off a, a unit or so. Maybe he's waiting for potential Hellions to leave Ooh, the base. Oh, there's some mines. This is different. He's opening up differently this time, and I like that. Usually there's Hellions coming out. Now he's opted to go ahead and get two Widow Mines instead. Mixing it up. Mixing it up. He doesn't need that many SUVs, though, because he can only get two of them at the same time. I think he's just scared of what happened before, that it's going to happen again. Well, that's entirely possible. He's saying, I'm not going to make that mistake. I'm not going to... Leave my uh, my my buildings here no. without being repaired. No. Until I, I figure I have enough units to actually hold this. No. No. And I don't. I can't say I blame him. Now with that Marauder, that's in range. That's safety. Yeah. And suddenly, uh, oh. Osta G has to go back home. And there's a couple Hellions. So instead of going four Hellions immediately, he got the mines first. Probably once again, like you're saying, for the defense there because he messed up last time. Uh huh. Uh, he is getting two more in production, so he's still going to have the four Hellions for harassment. It's just they're going to be a little. The second pair are going to be a little bit later uh -huh. uh, because of those two mines, and I like that he did, he did that. Other than the fact that you know mines are just super useful in general, really nice little defensive move there. Uh, the drone count going drone, up pretty hard, substantially. So OSG's putting a lot into his drones right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think the Hellions are going to come. Can he get a few drone uh, kills? A lot. I don't think he's going to get one. He got. No. He got one. He got one. He got one. Yeah. Well, he got one whopping. Ooh. There we go. He got one. And he got that drone at the start, so two in total. Woo! Was not worth it. No, not even close. And you know what that uh, what uh, that allows us to do immediately? Grab a third. Yep. Well, he had already grabbed a third, but it 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 just goes okay. Well, he doesn't have a stack of hellions. Nope. So I'm I'm cool. Comfortably grab a third. I should that's say. That's right. That's right. Comfortably grab it. Um, what do we got going on up here? Just gathering up some uh, some units, upgrading. Stim is on the way. Stim is actually about to finish. Plus one on the way as well. Gonna lift this bad boy off and plop down the starport. Gonna double pump out a couple of medevacs, and I think we're gonna see some aggression. We're gonna see some drops, but beautiful overlord placements from most OG. Look at this: one, two, three, four, five, six. I can count. I watched Sesame Street growing up, and they did a great Why job. Why did you do the count? You totally missed opportunity. Ha, 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 ha. One, a, a two, three, a, 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 four, five, and six. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. Thanks. Much better. Instantaneously, a Marine going after that uh, Overseer. Overseer is going to get a little bit of information before getting shot out of the sky. Uh, OCG bringing up a few Zerglings. Oh. Uh, I have, he has Baneling uh, speed in production right now, so maybe these are bound to be uh, some, uh, some uh, Banelings. However, he just spotted that medevac, and now yep. he's going to go home. Yeah, because the last thing he needs is to have a bunch of successful drops happen for the second game in a row. But look at this! Shut him down. Look at this! As oh, wow. he's going down with that medevac, oh yeah, he's now coming down here on the left hand side. But Ostagi with total map, map presence here yep. sees everything that's coming. But the question is, is he going to be able to handle both things at once? There's a spore crawler there. But if he can get a good drop and get behind that mineral line, once again he's going to lose drones. He's going to lose uh, gas mining time. It's just going to be bad news, and there is the drop. Going to boost his way in. Uh, two mines in there, and he's going to oh, lose a lot. Yes. Boom, boom, and that just does some serious damage. Yes. No overseer. One of them goes down because the spore caller could see it, and we also have an attack over here at the third at the same time, but there is a bunch of banelings waiting, a couple queens as well. A lot of Whoa. those banelings going Whoa. into one unit. Whoa! That was not very good control at all from Ostoji, perhaps. He is getting a little flustered here with that two-prong attack. And once again, more drones going down. And he's going to be able to pick off these units with that medevac. And no, actually, he's only going to be able to pick up one. I think it was a bit of a misclick. Oh, hey. And goes over into the natural. But look at this. Still, how many did we lose? 26 drones dead. That was Ouch. That was a really, Ouch. really successful attack on all accounts. He probably could have got more out with that medevac. But beyond that... Oh, dude, yeah. Really successful. I mean, that's just, be, that's just nitpicking. I mean, that oh, yeah. was beautifully done and really not good control from Ostoji, wasting pretty much every Baneling, I think, on a Marauder. Yeah, oh, no, we, we, they easily six went into one unit. Yep. Uh, and that, that basically is the reason why Masa was able to continue to do as much damage as he did there. Otherwise, that would have been cleaned up instantaneously. Uh, but he's got to be careful. He doesn't want to get sandwiched right now. He's Needs in a place. Needs, Needs medevacs. Medevacs, medevacs want a position. Him. Wow, he actually got out of there Manages with the stim. To stim and get out. Still a bunker there. This is not going to be an engagement that uh, and... Ostoji is going to be able to win if he pushes up there. No. Although that is a lot of units, you cannot underestimate stim and medevacs and, and a bunker. And a couple of uh, widow mines here as well. So I do like the fact that Ostoji instantly countered though and is moving up. And he's actually going to go for the big gusto here. He's wow. morphing in a lot of bailings. Wow. The question is, 
Is he going to waste them all on another Marauder or two? Or is he actually going to make them work this time? And if he actually makes them work, he could do some serious damage here. He could, might even be able to break this uh, very easily and then string in a bunch of units. But uh-oh. Widow mines. Yeah. And it's damage is being happening. I just was, all over the place. I was just gonna oh. uh I was just gonna say he had those two and I was gonna say when you were talking, uh he had them still there from that initial attack, and uh I was waiting to see once he moved out that he would move those mines in to do some damage to the mirror line. It's exactly what he did. Now yeah. he has a drop yeah, on the way down. And Ostagy has no idea where he wants yeah. to go. He's very he indecisive. Has no idea. He has no idea what he wants to do. Should I go back home? Should I go back up here? The longer he waits, the worse this is going to get. And look at this army now, Adam. There are so many Widow Mines there. All these medevacs and this bio. A good split. And I don't know how Ostagy is going to be able to take this. I mean, he's just taking heat down here. No, I really like the spread on these mines because if they're too close together, then you end up kind of wasting your shots a lot with Zerg. And if they're too close together, a lot of the times with speed, oh. they can run right past them and not get any, uh, as much damage done. This is another great example of a great drop after having those mines in there to do lots of damage, keeping that under control. And here's that no, engagement. it's not going to happen. But you're not going to get in all those mines in great placement. Yeah. Way more than he happen. can handle right now. And OC is forced to go back home and, once again, try and recuperate and come up with a plan. He is still only on the three base. He does not have four base. Here we are coming up to that 17-minute mark uh -huh. uh, again mm -hmm. where he's not on four because of the... Uh, a constant, really good, effective harassment by Masa, and Masa is now all the way up to his third base, and uh, this is looking, once again, yep. very scary for us. Zerg Ostagy. always wants to be a base up on any different races they're Absolutely. playing up against, and it's so unfortunate that Ostoji hasn't been able to do it uh, simply because of the amount of harassment that's constantly happening. But let's not give total credit to Masa. Ostoji is also doing a very good job at Absolutely. holding this as well. Uh, but, I mean, how much can he take? The, the supply now, 163 to 124, and these drops are progressively getting worse and worse and worse as time goes on. Uh, and he's attempting to get a fourth here, but that's going to be a force cancel. And uh, if he, as soon as he moves down here, there's going to be another drop that's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know, Adam. Wow, is he even going to cancel that? Oh, he did it very loud. Wow. wow. Yeah. He let that go a little further than I thought. I thought he was. I was thinking, uh, I think he was maybe hoping that the Baneleys could get there in time. They could not. Uh, interesting choice to drop there. It's okay. I mean, he can he can uh, trade, and, 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 it's okay. and it's okay at this yeah. point because it's such an economic lead that every roach that um, uh, Ostoji loses uh, to, like, say, four or five Marines, it's totally fine because even if he tries to do a counterattack, look at this minefield, dude. Oh, this, this this is insanity. You're not How do you here. break this? Uh, you're not you're not getting in here. You don't do it with ground units, that's for sure. Uh, no, not, not ground units alone. And all the bailings in behind those roaches, not able to get up front. And as soon as those bailings get close, all it's going to do is take one widow mine to really just bust this beautiful stim up there, picking off units as time goes on. Oh, a nice little uh, a burrow there with those bailings trying to bait him in. And once again, just picks him up, and he's just losing roaches even before he can get in here at the third in the natural. I mean, the really unfortunate part is, is, look at the spread on the Marines here as well, is that even even if, say, he ran a bunch of Zerglings in just to suicide to try and pull some of those mine shots out before moving in with the full army, uh -huh. it's still going to be difficult because there's so much firepower up here to begin with that it's not going to be able to draw enough of the mines away to allow him to get yep. rid of as many as he needs. And right now, Masa is just in this sweet position where he can basically sit back Maybe even consider a fourth base here pretty soon, yep. uh, and upgrade and do whatever oh, oh, he wants. Oh, nice scan! Oh man, nice scan, I, nice scan. He's doing really well, and and, and he's maxed. It's hard, it's hard not to you know not to talk him up too much because Ostagi is in such a rough spot. But Ostagi is doing uh, a fine job as is. He's putting up his fourth now a different location. Unfortunately, it's already been scouted, mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to go down real quick. And he's going to get overrun in this scenario. Yeah, he's slowly creeping his way up there against this Zerg. A couple of Banelings hit, but once again, not on much. Uh, more Banelings just being wasted on Marauders. Even more of them now. And the spreads are just it's crazy. Supposed to go right up into the minefield. And uh, here they go. And boom, another one. Oh, but the Medivacs were actually on top of those mines and taking some serious heat. Uh, the roaches are coming up, but there's just way too much bio. 2-2 two, two just finished for Masa, and now he's working his way down. 177 supply to 93, the majority of those drones. A big drop down here at the main, and I think we're going to see a GG very soon. And Adam, I think we're going to have our tournament winner right here, right now at Absolutely. this push. Absolutely, and coming back from 2-0 is pretty <laughs> substantial. You yeah. know, you, you, there's not a lot else that you could say about it. He worked his way back in with Reaper harassment. Uh, that that was too much for OCG, OCG to handle. He had nothing to, to respond with. 
Uh, and in this game, the same thing. As soon as uh, Manor Mule. Comfort. Oh my goodness, GG, grats. That is game. That was I that was it, man. I mean, Masa coming back. I mean, uh, I don't know what he did. I, I, maybe on a commercial break, he just meditated. I, I don't know what he what he did. You know, but I need to get me on some of that. You know what he did? He felt really good about donating to the Heart and Stroke Foundation, and then that good feels powered him to victory. You know, I can't say enough about uh, about the turnaround that he had there because you know the the first game was that macro game. And he got shut down incredibly hard in that first game. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he had those two games with the Reapers where he really got his confidence back up. And then in that third game with that high confidence to be able to overrun Osterji in a macro style game gave him the confidence to do it again there. Yep. And there was nothing that Osterji was able to, to do if, uh, against it. I really think after the second loss to the, to the Reaper rush, it really put him in a negative place. And like I said earlier, you could visibly see it in the chat in between games. He was getting yep. very, very frustrated. Um, and, and I think that's what that's all it did. I mean, it was beautiful play from Masa. It was a bit risky doing that cheese the second time in a row, but it paid off. And then on a four-player map, dominated him there. Mm -hmm. And I mean, what does that do to your confidence? You, you, you start stomping the whole tournament. Next thing you know it, you're being stomped. Yep. I mean, uh, that's a lot of pressure. But hey, let's give it up for Ostoji. He, he played some Absolutely. really, really good games. He's going to take second place. I don't know what second place prize is. If I had to guess, it's probably $500. Can't beat that? No. Well, actually, you can. You, well, you can. But you can't go wrong with that. No, it is. It's $500. So yep. congratulations goes to OCG for $500. And That's Masa. not half bad. And Masa for taking $1,000 after a hard-earned uh, set of games. Yeah. Coming back from that. Shout-outs to the whole Root team, man. They have been showing up as of late in tournaments. Doing well. Doing her thing. Absolutely. So uh, you guys should go tweet uh, Root and congratulate Masa. Um, and uh, also go ahead and tweet uh, 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 Quantic as well. Osterji put up a good fight, but I think Man Masa just wanted this bad. Oh, and he did. And he took it. And he took it. We do have a winner. Oh, look at that. Cooler Master Headset winners. First one going out to Devin Potry. You want to scroll down because it's not actually allowing me to see everything. Oh, no way. Really? Go Scroll up. No, no, no. no scroll. And Kalen Wong, which is squishy. Really? That's Squishy. Cool. <laughs> Congratulations, Squishy. What did they get? They got a new headset. They oh, they got headset. new headsets. That's a cooler master headset. There you go. Uh, good job. That's a live TV community member. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Uh, so, you want to scroll up so I can I can try and read whatever monstrous thing and maybe maybe Maybe, maybe just do this too. so we can see a little bit more. Yeah, they've, they've, got, they've got all this. I probably could have done all this without the, the hand holding, but we'll do it anyway. <clears throat> You gonna scroll down for me while I'm doing this? Oh, we reached uh, 1.5k. I get to flick your nips. Oh, nice. So okay, so we'll do that after this. Okay, okay. We'll, Actually, we'll, no, we'll do it before. No, we'll end it. On we'll the end it flicks. on that. Well, no, because if he ends the stream, you know, a little early, and sometimes it's a bit weird. Let's just do it now and get it out of the way. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have fifteen hundred dollars for donations. I just want to say how friggin' awesome you guys are, and also we reached our goal of a thousand after we led the way in like two seconds. Shout out to Panic. We're making a uh, with a two hundred dollar donation. Oh man! The nipple flick. Wow! Panic switch is the man. Panic is bringing it home. All right, now I I don't uh, I think you're gonna have to stand up. I'll have to I'll have to I'll kneel on here. Okay. Okay. This is a little awkward. All right. All right. This is up. Put your chest out so I can see them nips. There we go. All right, I see them nips. You guys ready for this? Da! Da! <laughs> So solid, yeah. Those were solid flicks. So those were flicks for charity, guys. Thank you flicks. very, very much. Coming soon, Lag TV pre presents flicks for charity. Well, last time my nips got flicked, so it's only fair. Oh, that's that right. I I I'm nips. putting myself on the line. All right. So let me uh, let me read this off. You want to get ready yep. to scroll for me here? Uh, all right, we got to give a big thanks, ladies and gentlemen, to Belline Fiber Op for the Fiber Op Gaming League and all the Fiber Op Cups. Cooler Master, CM Storm for prizing the support, of course, with those two getting those epic headsets. Uh, also, Esports Canada for casting and promoting the tournament early on. They were the guys that were on just before us doing a bang up job, yep. as well as Ralston Arcade for stream support. And go check out the game code at gamecodetv.com. Guess what? The one, the only, Mr. Novavore will be hosting that show starting this fall. So if you like this face and this voice, which, I mean, who doesn't? Uh, at one point, my mom said I had a face and a voice that only she could love, but I think she was just lying to me to keep my ego down. I think so. 
Uh, then go and check that out. Uh, you can already see all sorts of stuff on YouTube as well for that show. Also, big thanks to Frag for Charity uh, staff, uh, Ian, Blake, and John Quinn. Big thanks to Magic Mike. I like how they put Magic Mike I in there. I love Magic Mike. That's Magic Mike. Magic Mike 2 is coming that, out, too. That nickname, that nickname is sticking, Magic Mike. Uh, oh, really? Seriously, they're doing that? Oh, you're dead serious. Okay. They made a lot of money in that movie. Of course they did, because there's Why a lot not? of middle-aged women that, that want to see that. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, yes, like, like I was saying, Magic Mike for the hours and hours of producing and streaming. Follow Frank for Charity on Facebook for the next Fiber Op Cup, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, we're going to be at every single one because why not? We love charity. We, we love it. We also just enjoy flicking each other's nipples secretly. That's what we're in this whole business for. Yeah, and it, it just gives me a reason because it would be really awkward if I just came around and said, hey, dude, can I flick your nipples? Yeah, at least now we have a purpose in life for doing what we love to do. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have been Life's a Glitch TV. You can check us out at youtube.com slash life's a glitch TV, as well as hitting us up on Facebook at facebook.com slash lag TV, L A G T V, and our website, lag.tv. Go and join Lag Nation if you enjoyed us today. Guess what? We enjoyed you. Also, just don't tell your mom about it because it might get creepy. If you guys miss the games, all games casted by us will be on our channel as well. Yep. So if you missed, say you got in here late, you didn't see the semifinals or the finals. All those games will be posted in series. So when we post the semifinals, we're going to post all the games and then post all the games in the finals. So you have all casts in two days. So make sure you go to our channel and check that out if you haven't already. A big thanks to everybody behind the scenes to make this happen. And once again, a huge thanks to Belt Lion for uh, doing awesome in this world. Yes. Doing That's awesome. Much all I got. Doing awesome is now a thing, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, this has been Noble War and Maximus Black. And we'll see you guys soon. Have a good one. Peace.